Classes have been mostly empty this month in Lebanon for the country's 1.2 million students as teachers take action over increasingly deteriorating conditions. For Selma Rahi, a second-year teacher, striking is a tough but necessary decision. We get $60 per month, and nowadays $60 is only, we can only afford gas uh, just to attend school for the first week. I pay to go to, to my job. Lebanon's economic crisis has seen the local currency devalue more than 90 percent. Salaries for public sector employees and several private sector areas like teaching haven't increased. But basic needs like petrol and electricity have skyrocketed. Some teachers are fine with the situation because their, their, their children uh, are studying in that school. So they say it's fine, we get low salaries as long as our kids are learning for free. The government offered public sector teachers a marginal salary increase, but most, like English teacher Hanan Saab, say the salary is only part of the problem. The most common problems that we are faced uh, are related to electricity, small areas, uh, big number of students within the same room, shortage in uh, things related to school like papers, like uh, markers or maybe chalks related to the green boards, uh, things related to hygiene, especially during uh, uh, COVID. Uh, we lack tissues, we lack water, the main problem actually which is related to water. Fadl Fakih, the executive director of the Lebanese Center for Human Rights, says the problems facing teachers are the result of a broken system in Lebanon that does little to hold officials accountable. What we are seeing now is a symptom of a failed state. Unfortunately, the, the education sector, it needs reform, but uh, it's, a, it's part of a comprehensive approach that should be done by, uh, by the government. The UN estimates that 13 percent of families in Lebanon have been forced to take their children out of school and have sent them to work due to the crisis. When we take children outside schools, I think one of the major things that we are uh, doing is not only destroying their future, but destroying the future of the country as well, because they are the future of, of this country. We are putting them under the vulnerability of being exploited and with the lack of accountability that's that's something easy to do in uh, in Lebanon Lebanese politicians including the minister of education have expressed sympathy with the teachers but they say their hands are tied like many problems in Lebanon solutions within the education sector require macro solutions that are nowhere in sight and the crisis only worsens by the day Priyanka Navani TRT World Beirut